awardees in the presidential NYSC Honor Award that just took place in Aso Rock in Abuja. Like I'm so excited to have him here. He's my uncle. In fact, I am overwhelmed. I'm overjoyed. I give all the glory to God for this wonderful privilege you have given unto me to have him here. Um, I also want to, I also want him to like try to tell us how he's feeling right now because I know he's so excited. Like the award is just, just something I cannot explain. So, um, he will introduce himself, he, 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 will, he will tell us his name by himself, so let's just hear from him. Good day, uh, viewers. My name is Abdullah Isaac. I'm so happy to be on this stage today to be interview. First of all, I would like to congratulate my fellow colleagues that participate in this presentation of NYC Honor Award. And secondly, I also give thanks to Almighty God and make it a reality because initially I thought I was dreaming. Never know it was real. Glory be to God. And the community that I serve, in fact, I'm really, really appreciating and I'm going over there to appreciate and give thanks to what you have done. So having expressed his gratitude to God, to his families and friends and all of that, I'm going to be asking certain questions pertaining his experiences during his service here. Because I am also a core member, I'm a core part. Right now I'm serving in Abia State. Like I know the challenges we pass through as core parts. I know the difficulties we pass through as core parts. And now even in this difficulty, you are able to still achieve something, my dear. It's not easy. So I'm going to I'm going to be um, asking some questions and through his answers, we'll get to See how he was able to overcome these challenges and difficulties and was able to skate through and is right now here today being celebrated. And before I begin to ask these questions, I will start by this because there's, there's an information I got about him in the sense that why he was posted to Bauchi State in 2014 where he served, 2014 right? Yeah, where he served. You see, I this is Nigeria and most, most times people get so scared when they are posted to the northern part of Nigeria. And I heard from one, one of his family members, she said, when, when I heard my brother was posted to um, Bauchi, I nearly went into coma. Like she, 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 she was not, nobody was really happy he was posted there because as a copper, you are free to relocate. If you don't like where you are posted to, you are very free to relocate. But then on his own side, he did not relocate. So sometimes I begin to wonder, so I would like him to tell us, why did you not relocate? Because I believe... When you are doing something and your family members are not really supporting you, you should have like pulled back and like, okay, let me let me just decide not to do. So why did you choose to serve in Bauchi State? Was it because when you went there you saw that everywhere was looking so good? So what happened? What encouraged you to remain in Bauchi and serve all through your service here? Thank you very much. The pastor says a main reason why didn't I relocate? Yes, right? why didn't you relocate? Alright. Before I be posted to Bauchi State. I so much believe that in any way I found myself to go, it will be destined. So when I was in school, many people were posted in different states. I wish even most of my friends were willing to do that. Most of them were okay. But when I was posted to Bauchi State, it just as if it was a joy that be posted in a state that you have never been to. To go there and experience challenges different attitudes, different character, different behavior. So, when I, when I was being posted today, it was a kind of a saying, ah, can appearing. They heard that I posted to this place. They were kind of feel discouraged because of what is happening over this place. They would like to tell me, please, you look here, look here. Quite sure, they called and told me that, please, my brother, relocate to a different state. We don't want you to be there. Well, said, I don't think it will be possible because I believe God that has brought me here that has a reason Amen. for me being here. Yes. Has a reason for me being here. Amen. So I pick the courage and saying, why should I be this courage? Look at my co member, they are also here. So they didn't relocate. Well, why should I relocate? 
We are all living together. That's not the part of the past incident that happened. That even the first part that the copper lord that which I was protesting, that very particular lord was a victim of during 2011 election. Cop member that was there, most of them happened to be the victim of the election crisis. But to pick up that courage, not to relocate because God has sent us to this place, there is a reason behind us to be here. Why do they relocate? Why do they relocate? You know that there is a will of God. Yes. Yeah. That's very true. You should come to that point in your life where you understand that whatever happens to you has been planned and ordained by God. You should come to that point in your life where you know that things don't just happen to you because they, they want to happen, but because God who created you already knows that a time like this will come in your life. He allowed everything in your life to happen for a reason. And mind you, one of the, the criteria that was in selecting the awardees has something to do with, your, with the relocation. Now, even if you're a core member that did something during your service day for the community you served and you relocated, maybe you, you were not really in the place that you were posted to, you'll be disqualified. The only candidates that were selected were those candidates that remained in their place of primary assignment, that remained in the place that NYSC posted them to. So had it been he listened to his family members and relocated, had it been he did not have confidence in the God that has sent him where he was posted to, even if he went wherever he went to and then did something, would have been disqualified. All right, thank you very much. And then I also want to ask you another question because, um, okay, what he actually did during service day was he actually, okay, maybe he had to do that himself. So, what did you do? What was that thing that you did that was spectacular that made you, um, um, all our life that qualified you to be among those persons that we are right now in Nigeria? The main project that I did, not something that was hidden, everybody knows me. The common project, which yes, everybody wants to have it. All solar energy is made by installed solar energy. Wow, that's beautiful. Yes. Wow, solar energy installation. Wow, that's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, so why did you decide to do solar energy installation? I believe maybe there would have been maybe having a water challenge or maybe one could be a particular project. So why did you decide to do solar energy installation? What did you see? What what was the need of the people at that time that made you decide to okay, instead of doing something else, let me do solar energy installation? So be posted to that government secondary school. I was a teacher teaching hundred and physics for mathematics. Likewise I was teaching them physics Although sorry sorry to cut it that he said he was taking them physics, mathematics and what and what again physics practical in the lab. Physics practical in the lab. Now sorry to cut you. I'm I'm talking to the core members now. I'm also guilty of this. You see, most of us don't want to um, go beyond our comfort zone. Most of us don't want to take more than one subject in our in our in our in the schools we are posted to. Everybody wants to be okay, like everybody wants to be relaxed. He was taking mathematics, physics and also taking them physics practical then I appreciate that. So, please, that can you So, they had any such courses. I discovered that in the school premises, they were as in solar panels all over in the lab, which they are not used. And even the students, having them been damaged, most of them are getting apart, broken because they are glasses. Anything fell on the glass, it was broken. And that one, they can't use it again. So, I found that this is a government property of waste. It can be used to have something to have to achieve something good for this student in this school. Look at it in the community. Frequent power failure. If I stay in the community within a week or two weeks, no light. They are, if our community never brought light, they don't last much, maybe two hours, three hours, they never light in this school. Bringing that light back with the last more than one week or two with the material you put in, why are you looking to put the people on the road there? Why are you not? You are not going to be in their life. So I look at it and say, this is a government secondary school, and they have all those materials on ground, on waste. That is the solar panel itself. The only thing of which they don't have, what to be able to convert that solar panel into an electric source. That is what they lack it as a battery, likewise. So I find it and say, ah, this is my field of study. Physics, electronics, that is my field of study. Then being that I'm taking them mathematics and physics, and 
Africa, we should have hindered me from not to do what is right for me to do in this world. And I look at it and say, well, if I'm able to carry out this project, it will be a benefit to this student, and I will put them through, I will guide them how to do such a project and to guide them for them to have their own personal life in their house. So I make a request to the principal and I say, is it possible for me to carry this project? He says, sir, with your help, I will be able to do it. I will be able to achieve the goal. It will be a good as a advantage to the student because they, might, they will learn more from me than it will have asked. Not knowing today, as I'm speaking with you, I was doing a great thing. Yes, yes. I didn't even think of that. All so. what I was doing was just as a guide to the consular energy station. Wow. All right, from everything you said, like I picked one particular thing, I picked so many things, so I'll just begin to say them one after the other. He made a statement, he said when he, he first approached the principal to see for his, his support, and also that through his support, he also gets support of the community. And from what he said, the principal gave a positive response. You see, most of the challenges we call members pass through, um, those of us that teach in, in a school or we're posted to a school to teach. You see, sometimes we pass through challenges from our principals. Let's say, for instance, for instance, his, his principal did not give him a positive response. Like he said, no, maybe looking for a kind of excuse um, to like kind of discourage him from that project. He will not be celebrated today. So I really want to give kudos to that left and that and principal that, that gave him such positive response and kind of encouraged him to go on with the project. And then um, he also said something about um, unison. The core members he sat together with, they kind of encouraged him. They were there for him. They were excited about it. And I believe that also gave me a kind of positive vibe. It also kind of gave him more courage to like, come on, ride on. But you see, when you are surrounded with, with some kind of core members that will not want to support you, rather they discourage you like, ah, I beg, what, what are you doing? Like, ah, you are going too far. What, you are, you are thinking too big. Like, if um, that was the kind of core members he was surrounded with, I don't believe he'll be here today. But thank God also for the kind of core members that he was surrounded with that gave him also the courage to carry on with his project. And so then if I was speaking to all core members that are also watching me, please, whenever you have a core member who is kind of trying to do something Thing, please encourage that person. Can, try to like make that person feel he can do it or she can do it, even when it's even as if he's failing. Just be there to encourage such person. All right, okay. So I also want to ask another question. When you went to the community, like okay, you got approval from the principal. You also said about NYC and all of that. Now going back to the community, because I believe they supported you to source, to, like when you were sourcing phone. What were the arrest on? They responded to me and they took me as their own. Wow. They took me as their own wow. in the community. In fact, I never lack, I never lack something in this That's beautiful. You also got support from. I have to tell you that God was actually involved in this. I believe this is God. From all He has said, you, I don't think it's something that maybe the, it's because maybe they, they of course, they, lo, they like Him, they love Him, for them to really want to do this with Him. But then you believe this is still God. Because if not for God, I don't believe you'd even be here today. Okay, another question I want to ask Him. Okay, after the. Okay, you've talked about um, the core members also um, kind of encouraging you. Now, when you were done with this project, on the day of the um, execution, okay, what do they call it like? The day you were kind of going to present it to everybody. Where the community there, how were they feeling? When they saw that, ah, look at this thing we finished putting our money into, like, where this, what was that reaction like the day you were presenting the, the day I was presenting the, the even to me, I was even surprised wow. when the chief or the community was even present. Wow. As wow. in a kind of a joy, a core member, Posted in so community, local government, here, the, about this game. It was a kind of, as it was able wow. to give light to the school, government, the secondary school, here, the, as it provided source of light, energy in the school, of which the students are using now. Because in the school, it was kind of as frequent, no lights, every, if the students, they're always as in the night, maybe they want to read. Go along with candles, torch light, which are everywhere is always dark. But look at it, all night there's always like most of the energy installation always have this stuff. So the chief of the community was a kind of having impressed and happy and embraced me. Wow. And said, Yes, this is my son. Wow. That's my father that I was a different 
take entirely, they took me as their own in the community. So they are going to be very celebrated. Wow. Of course, they will be happy. Like imagine a school, like he said, I mean, um, it's according to him that even when they, they go for, it's like it's a boarding school. It's a boarding school that normally when they go to read at night, they go with candles, with touch lights, and you agree it's not a very comfortable way of kind of studying. But now he supplied electricity to that school. Of course, they will, they will be excited about it. Like I, I just I just can't imagine how excited those persons to be at that particular day. Okay, I, I also want to ask you this. I believe. The, Definitely, there will be challenges to pass through during this period of execution. There will be, I believe, there will be time when you feel like, ah, well, okay, okay, let me ask like this. Was there never a time when you felt like, ah, let me give up on this project, like, ah, I'm tired? Was there never a time you were kind of discouraged? And if there was a time like that, how did you overcome those kind of negative vibes, discouragement, and all that? Uh, the time I would have said maybe I was a kind of discovery was I think uh, that was even the time on which I really picked the positive impact that I had to make sure this project is done. And that particular period was the period of when I was searching for the fund to get the batteries. And each battery was at the rate of 120,000 per one. What? And we needed two batteries at this point. Wow. So as the kind of, uh, this huge amount of money, 240,000 of batteries. How will I be able to source this money out from this community? I say, well, God that made me to start this project will definitely put me through. God, the fact that, of God. That was the faith that I put in mind that the project will be achieved. Then there was a particular boy in that very school. We heard boy called uh, Dauda. That boy, in fact, is great and he really really supported me and what i've taught him so far in this project i believe even tomorrow by the best of god he will remember that yes wow. i've taught him something wow. Wow. for the project yeah, so because he was the one that took me around for the big men in that community wow. how to source money out from their hand mm -hmm. So I went to her, he was the one taking me along to come and see Susu so Pesi, little Susu so so Ma, yes, he did, you can support. Wow. So when I went through, truly, yes, he really supported me. He gave me the money, before you know I was still able to source out the amount of money. So that's how we got the money. Before them are fixing it. So, on the My project, camera. the digital day, we saw the battery, so everything was in order, we tested wow. what was working. Okay. Okay, like according to what he just said, there were times when he passed through challenges, of course. He said one of the things that made him feel discouraged at the time was when he, he discovered that to get a battery, and he needed two batteries, a battery, 120,000 for a battery, and he's a poor member. I believe that would have been a point where he would have just given up, but he did not. He made a statement that he believed that God was with him. With God, all things are possible. And of course, God did not fail him. God did not disappoint him because today he celebrated. I also want to give a shout out to that um, head boy because he said the head boy of the school took him around the school. The, um, not just around the school, around the community and helped him uh, meet the big men and women that could support him. So a shout out to you. you did a good job. Like, thank you so much for helping him. All right. And um, right now I'm serving. I'm serving. And I, I, in fact, it's very, it's, how I put it, it's very challenging for me. Where I'm serving currently, I don't know what to say about it, but his life is, or his, his own experience and everything he has gone through is a kind of an encouragement for me. Like I'm not believing there are so many things I can achieve as a core member in the community I'm serving. Okay, and I want to ask you this, or maybe not really ask you, but I want you to kind of talk to the core members now they are watching you, because I believe a core member will definitely watch this video. What do you have to say to that core member who is out in the community right now? He or she does not know what he should, what he, he maybe he knows what to do, but he's, he's not seeing the possibility, he's kind of discouraged. And what do you have to say to that core member? And secondly, now to that person who is still in school, hoping to serve one day, those persons that are not yet serving, what do you have to say to them, to these two particular people? Well, what I have to say to them, who call member outside them, or the student who is in school, 
you have to pass out. Definitely a courage on our advice you. Wherever you are being posted to, stick to your feet. You hear that? Stick to your feet. Don't let anyone discourage you. Because me speaking with you present and right here, I never thought. I have never thought of it. I'll become a presidential NYC fellow award mm. as of yesterday, 27th of April 2019. Yeah. So I will definitely advise you, please and please, wherever you find yourself, in any community you find yourself, try to find out what is your major challenges in that community. What is your major challenge? What is your major problem in that community? Then figure out a possible solution to that problem. And don't allow any core member or anybody to discourage you yes. in that particular in that particular project that you're about to carry. Put it God into whatever you are yes, doing. As your, as your backbone. As your backbone. Yeah. Understand? As your, as a, let me say, put make sure that yes, your God is the foundation. He is not the reason why you have been posted. And for him to be able to ask him, helping you to be able to think wisely that at this community, this is the major challenges. I believe that God will definitely provide a possible solution for you to solve that problem. So, call member outside there. I advise you to do what is supposed to be done at the right time. Alright, thank you so much. And mind you, let me remind us that this particular project we are talking about was in the year 2014 when he served. This is 2019, five years ago. So I believe, and like what he said, he said he was not doing it because he was expecting an award or whatsoever. That was even what kept him going. He did it because of the passion, because of the love he had for the community, because he saw they really needed electricity. He saw the need to, to, to provide solution to the problem at that particular time. That was what kept him going. So you out there who is wanting to say back on the project, don't do this because, oh, I know the federal government will issue an award, so let me try my best to get an award. If that is the reason why you go to, or maybe you decide to back on the project you may end up not um, executing that project so let it be that you kind of have this kind of passion to see that you prefer solution to the problem the community you are currently serving is passing through and then for those of us that don't know what this award is all about i want to let us know the award is just so 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 overwhelming and so i'm so happy like um an immediate appointment like you know what that means um a scholarship um to study up to <laughs> doctorate degree in any country, in any country of your choice, man. The government, they tried. God bless the government of Nigeria, like you did well. I really want to thank you, Mr. Sule Abdullahi, for the privilege to get to interview you. Like, um, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate God bless you. I believe a core member has learned, somebody has learned from your experience. And uh, for those of us watching Peace TV, I also want to thank you for getting to watch this. I believe you've learned. You may be a core member currently serving, like I'm a core member. And I just have about four to five months to finish serving. Like right now, I'm just thinking of something I can do for my community because I also want to get this out award i'm really just thinking so you should get to like you said look for the the, the problem the community is facing and try to prefer solution and then you're a student who is still in school hoping to serve or you are done with your school and you are hoping to serve please as you're going for your service wherever you are posted to just be grateful to god you don't have to relocate if if if, if it's not something that so you don't have to relocate because if you had relocated you'd be disqualified even if you executed a particular project just remain where you are trusting that God sent you there for a reason. Begin to ask God, why did you send me here? And let God give you the grace to be able to um, know the reason why he sent you there and be able to like execute that reason. So I really want to thank you for watching Peace TV. If this is your first time on my channel and you're yet to subscribe to my channel, I want you to hit the subscribe button on that screen. Please, the notification button to get updates more of my videos.